travelingmail.com. While our time in town was great, I was really looking forward to seeing the bighorn sheep in rut. We took the road leading to the east entrance of Yellowstone, which is a much different experience than what we are used to on the north side. This is a cool way to go into Yellowstone because from where we live in the north, you never think of it as a very mountainous or rugged place. I always think of Yellowstone as pretty mellow and this is neat to see it from this angle. We enjoyed the jagged mountains and ridges as we drove the 20 or so miles from town on a sunny but windy day when we came up on a small group of sheep. So we brought our binoculars to come check out these bighorn sheep, but as it turns out, they are really close to the road and we don't even need binoculars. And side note, look how cute the babies are. The sheep really were close, but there wasn't a lot of action and the wind was cold. So after a little time watching and playing with the binoculars, the boys hopped back in the car while I got to do what I love, which is film. pretty close and not too worried about humans. He's gonna do a he's gonna do a Fleming response here. That's where he's scenting her curls up his lip. Smells her urine, curls up his lip. Yeah. And then smells to see if she's in heat or not. Testing to see if she's ready for it. If you look over here of others coming to say hi. That's just how close you can get here. While the wind played havoc with the microphone, brought tears to my eyes and a little snot to the end of my nose, the sun eventually made it over the mountains and shone on another group of sheep further up the canyon. We plan our travels around the rut. I'm not really kidding, but we do. We're checking out the bighorn sheep, who right now they're just laying down, but so far we've seen them doing something called a Fleming response, where they're sniffing at each other's uh, privates to see if they're ready to go for it. And we're hoping soon to see some headbutting as well. Dare to dream. It takes time and patience to see great wildlife behavior. We didn't get to see anything more than some good old fashioned nut kicking but we decided that in fairness to the boys' attention spans, we'd head back home. Maybe next year we'll come back and get to spend more time, but it was a great experience regardless. Check out the travelingmail.com blog for more info on Cody and our other family adventures.